All right, y'all. Welcome to the 2018 Isaiah City Classic. We have the front nine here for you. This is a PDJ C tier. One round at Langan Municipal Park. Second round at Isaiah City Golf Course. It's a temporary setup that we put out here for it. All right, we got Cameron Colglazer leading the tournament right now with 16 under, followed by Matty O, Chris Downey, and Cody Faircloth. All right, we're starting off in hole one here, 541 feet. This is the 12th hardest hole in the course. We got OB left on the golf fairway, OB to the right over the sidewalk, and then the sand trap. And there's a Mando right off the tee box that you want to keep it to the right of. All right, so what you're going to want to do here is you want to play it straight up the middle, keeping it in this nice spot for you to have an easy approach to the pin. First up, we got Cameron Cole Glazer, sponsored by Prodigy Disc, local boy from Theodore, Alabama. Next up, Matt Orm, also sponsored by Prodigy Disc, right here from the Mobile area as well. These two players are top 10 or 15 in the world. We've got number 7 and number 12, I believe. All right, next up, Chris Downey, sponsored by Full Turn. It's a nice shot, gets around the outside of the trees, and it'll have a skip to the outside. Okay, next up, Cody Faircloth, sponsored by MVP Disc. Everybody on this lead card has got just enough talent to keep up with anybody, so we should see a nice performance out of them. We'll have a tight battle, hopefully, to the very end. Okay. While well, these players approach, they're going to try to catch a, an easy three, get a birdie here. In the meantime, um, I just want to say thank you to the Zay City Golf Course for allowing me to hold my um, the event here. This was part of my internship to perform an event held onto the premises where I was working. I was doing my internship at the Azalea City Golf Course. So I was fortunate to have these grounds to work with. So thank you to everybody that was involved. Uh, thank you all your help, all my volunteers that helped out. Southside for, for providing payouts for everybody. All in all, this was a 100% success and we have gotten permission to come back to hold other events. So I will be holding this, ev this event again next year. So be on the lookout for that. It should be a B tier. We'll have um, a higher player cap, probably somewhere 144. So look out for that and then get ready to register. Um, we'll probably also be using this course for other tournaments as well since we, we do have A tiers here now. So y'all, uh, when you see a Zay City golf course on it, be sure you show up. All right, so hole two here comes in at 267 feet. This is a simple little righty hyzer hole. If you're lefty, you want to throw a forehand or a slow turnover shot toward the pin this one's pretty self-explanatory let's see how these players do all right just missing the tree is the way you want to get to it he'll have a nice skip and he should be looking right at the pin matios want to follow suit since these two players though um, the same company it's easy for them to take a read off each other. They can see one player throw and pull out the same disc and do the same. And it helps uh, keep them going. Chris Downey, however, is going to take the more wider approach. He'll look for a big skip and he'll be right there. Okay, and all we need is Cody Faircloth to follow suit. And we should have a star frame here saying that everybody makes their putts at least. Cameron Colgler is going to be the farthest out. He'll have a tester for birdie to start it off. Go ahead and count it. All right, these players are going to clean up their birdies. We'll be moving on to hole three. Cameron still lead it, 18 under, followed by Matt, Chris, and Cody. Okay, hole three, 331 feet. This is the third hardest hole in the course. 
simply because you have to navigate through the tight gap right off the bat. And you have a sand trap OB left. You have a sidewalk OB to the right and behind the pin. So you want to be careful in this hole and keep it straight. All right, first up, Cameron Coke Laser. He's going to try to show everybody the line. He keeps it a little low, but he did he did uh, pass the gap, and he'll be looking at the pin. Okay, next up, Matteo. Matteo catches a branch. That one just jumped out and got him. All right, he'll want to um, get a nice clean shot to get up and down from there. Chris Downey throwing that rock high in the air. Gets a nice flight out of it. And he's heading right to it. He should have a nice unobstructed um, putt at the basket. All right, next, Cody Fairclaw. Looks like to be throwing a fairway driver to make the shot a little bit easier for him, make him not work as hard. And he has also caught, got a good shot at it. He'll be looking for birdie. Okay, here we go, Matty O, trying to get close to the pin to save par. All right, he'll be a little to the right there, but he should have a, at least a clean look at it. This is Cameron Coglazer from about 40 for birdie. Gets it high enough. Oh, just off the band. Okay, we got Cody Faircloth here from about 33 for birdie. You can go ahead and count it. All right, we'll give him the slow-mo. That was a very nice putt, sir. All right, looks like Cody's off to a hot start there, three for three. Okay, Matty O is going to look to save par here. From about 27. <coughs> Just a little low. He's gonna want that one back for sure. Alright, Chris Downey for birdie from about 22. Uh, a little high, but it's in. You can go ahead and give him the birdie for that one. That also puts him three for three. Guys are going to clean up their putts. Matty unfortunately takes a bogey there, so he'll drop a stroke. To He was trying to make a jump on Cameron, but he'll need a little bit more work. All right, on the hole four, 531 feet. Don't let the distance fool you. This is the easiest hole on the course. There is a layup spot here to the right. You have OB also to the right with the cart path circling around. OB to the far left on the golf course fairway. And then you want to make your approach to the basket and then get your birdie. Okay, first up, we got Chris Downing. He's going to try to take a, high, a straight hyzer at it. And he catches a little bit of shrub there, and he'll have an obstructed look. Cody Faircloth also taking the, trying to take the same line, gets a little better result. Looks like he got behind a magnolia, but. He should be able to approach the basket. Now you'll see Cameron Coglazer here um, take a little more unorthodox route, but I feel like it is the better route. It is a roller. He took it around the outside and came all the way back to the center cut of the fairway. Mario is gonna look to do the same. He got a little wider than he was hoping. He's gonna want that one to stand up and come back. And he does, he caught a root. And if it went out that root, he may have gone OB. All right, but he'll have a nice clean look at it. Chris Downey just caught another branch. There's branches jumping out everywhere at him. Okay, if he makes this, this will be for birdie. After all that, let's see if he can do it. Puts up a nice forehand. It's a good jump out of it. And he'll be looking at the pin, hopefully the same part there. Okay, Cody Fairclaw. Low forehand. It's a little low, a little stable. He's gonna have about a 40 footer there to save or to catch birdie. Okay, like I said, Matty O got the nice outside look at it, so he'll have a clean layup. Cameron's going for it. Hits the basket. Oh man, he wanted that eagle. All right, like I said, we got Cody here from about 40 feet for birdie. 
just a little left. Alright, and here's Chris Terry State Park. Down on Buck Hill, but it was Way to go. After all that, he still made it. Alright, Matty O for birdie. There you go. Count it. Alright, well, we'll let these guys clean up and we'll move on to the next hole. Birdie. We got Cameron at 19 under now. He's just slowly taking off and staying in the groove. Hole five, 258 feet. Okay, there's OB to the right. There's a um, rope that leads to the sidewalk OB. The golf course fairway to the left is also OB. And then what you want to do is you want to take it straight up the middle, unless you're these guys, and they're going to take it around the outside. And we'll see how that works out for him. All right, Cameron throws him nicely. Gets a slow skip. He'll be pin high. Matteo's gonna pull off the same disc. Try to copy his line. Just missing the trail. Nice skip there. Way to go. Chris Downey's not having a little bit of luck right now after that, that last hole. He'll need to shake it off and get his groove back. While Cody Fairclaw takes the hyzer approach, he gets a slow skip and stays from, away from the out of bounds. Chris Downey's looking about 70, 80 feet. Cody Faircloth here from about 35. Puts it in. It's a nice birdie. Okay, we'll have Matty O and Cameron Close closer here. Less than 15 feet, cleaning up. Surprise, it's right. Puts it in. We're we'll moving on to the next hole. After hole five, Cameron's 20 under. We got Matt 13. Chris and Cody following suit. Hole six, 235 feet. You can either go left or right. You got an OB cart path left that circles around to the back side of the basket. Fence is OB. And on the right side of the fairway, there is an OB line that takes from the cart path on the back side of the golf putting green. Cameron's gonna try to take the forehands and catches the fence, stays in bounds. All right. To righties, this would be more of a traditional route. I feel like this is more of a tougher route because you gotta keep it low and make it skip really tight. Cody Faircloth's got the right idea, keeping it low and keeping it tight. And he'll be close to the pin, probably within about 20 feet. Chris Downey. Keeping it out wide. He'll be in bounds, but he'll have a long look for birdie. All right, so if you get obstructed by this fence, this is what happens. You'll have to take the putt over the top. Here's a little elevator putt, catches a little nub, and just misses it. All right, like I said, so Chris Downey keeps it a little wide, so he'll have about a 40 footer for birdie. Count it all day, gets the slow mo. Just a little bit by the tree. Catches the wrong side of the chains and bounces out. Okay, we got Cody for here from about 20 feet for birdie. Same thing. I don't know if it's the chains or the way they hit it, but those bounce off exactly the same. Again, I want to thank everybody who donated a basket for this tournament. 
Man, that was awesome. Without y'all, this would have never happened. So I give it out to y'all. All right, so this is a fun little hole, hole seven. It's a tunnel shot. We got OB left over the fence. There's a cart path running right, OB, 247 feet. This is the fourth hardest hole on the course, believe it or not. It's the shortest hole, but the hardest, fourth hardest hole. All right, so players who want to take a nice, stable, or straight to understable putter to mid-range and try to just keep it flat, Downey's going to bounce off a tree and kick to the wrong side of the fairway. Next, Cameron Coldblazer wants to be throwing a mid-range. Gonna keep it tight, throw it hard, and let it hide your back. All right, so he hits the back side of the tree, but he's inbounds and he's looking at the pin. He'll have about 35 for birdie. Matty O's gonna follow suit. Also bouncing off a tree and catching close to that out of bounds right side. It stays in bounds. Okay, Cody Faircloth. Mm, that was like a good shot. He just caught a late root or a vine coming out of the tree. Matty O's gonna take it on the outside. Off the car path and breaks it He'll have a close look for par. Down, just laying it up. Make sure he gets close enough to be able to tap it in without any problem. So Cody here looking for birdie. Catches the early tree. He'll have another 40 feet here for par. over the top. He'll have a um, short putt there for Bogey. Cameron Coldblazer, uh, about 35 for, for Bogey. Did you doubt it? No. Give him the slow-mo. Only birdie on the hole. Probably only birdie of the day. But I heard. Down here to save par. Okay, this will be Cody for a bogey. Right it's in. He's not going to be happy about it. But he'll move on to the next hole and just shake it off. And this is where Matteo landed. After his upshot, he was inbounds, and this will be for par. All right, so you guys are gonna clean up, move to the next hole. After hole seven, we got Cameron at 21 under now, with Chris Tron at 14. Okay, this hole, hole eight, 269 feet. This is the fourth easiest hole on the course. For lefties, it's gonna be a simple hyzer. For righties, it's gonna be a forehand. We're going to be looking to see some great shots on this hole. Everybody will be ace running. Cameron up first. We'll have a nice shot at it. Maybe just the right pin high. Down. Thank you, Paul. He kept it a little wider than the rest, but he'll have a nice skip at it. Maybe a little long. Matty O. Looking for that ace one. Big skip. Oh. Just in front of it. Okay, last step. Cody here. He'll be taking the backhand shot at it. Going straight at it. Just back to chains. Pretty fair back going for the ace. Alright, and he was ace running, so he was a little far. But that don't mean anything. Count the birdie. Give him one. Downing. Probably from about two feet closer. Birdie. 30 feet. And count as well. These next two gentlemen are pretty close, so it looks like we'll have our star frame. We're moving on to home. He 
he, I'm sure he had a good run at it. One of these days, I'll get a backup camera so that way they can catch, be the catch cam. All right, well, these guys got a star frame after hole eight. Cam 22, Matt minus 14, Chris minus 15, and Cody minus 14. All right, 592 feet, hole nine. This is the seventh hardest hole in the course. There's a Mando right with an OB line that takes you to the golf fairway on the right side. There is a line on the tree line on the right side of this fairway, blocking you from going out to the golf fairway at all. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to try to turn the shot over, carry as long as you can, and then make your approach to the pin. This is a par four, so they're going to want to catch a birdie here. All right, you can see the mando tree right there with the sign on it. They're going to take a big turnover shot. Okay, camera throws it high. It's turning right, turning right. Kind of losing the trees, but it keeps going to the right there. All right, down is going to look to catch about the same amount of distance. Throws it high enough. He's he's going to need to push just a little more to the right. That's going to flex out and be just to the left. He'll have a look at the pin, though. All right. Matty O's got the distance. Let's see if he'll try to reach it. All right. That was a nice turnover How's shot. That? Okay. That one's turning in perfectly. Nice there you go. Finishes just to the right there. He'll have a straight look at the pin from about 100 feet out. Okay. Cody Fairclaw's more of a traditional player. He keeps it low. keeps it tight. Throws it in the right spot. Even has the late flex at the end. Brings them center cut fairway. Downey had a look at it. He just threw a little high. From there, he's just going to want to lay up for par. Okay, Cameron's got the outsider route. Take it in. All right, he'll have a look for birdie. Matteo also going to be laying up, catch an easy birdie here. He had a, a nice drive off the tee. So when you have a nice drive, it makes for an easy approach. Like I said, he's going to want to just get a par after all that. Cameron for birdie. Oh, yeah. That was a good 30, 35-footer. Okay. Let these guys... Clean up on the end of the front nine here. Hey. All right, last up, we got Matty O and Cody Faircloth going to tap out. I want to thank you all for uh, tuning in on this front nine. Stay tuned shortly. The back nine will be out before you know it. In the meantime, like this, share it. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and get the word out. Uh, remember, next year, we'll have an even bigger event put on for y'all. And we got, got Karen leading it, heading to the back nine. I also want to give a thank to our sponsors, Charlie Pyre, Southside, and Magda. Thank you.